Alamo Draft House Cinema. This is an amazing theater chain. I wish there was more of them around. Anyway, for those of you who don't know what Alamo Draft House is, it's, it's a movie theater chain, like I mentioned, and it's a really good one. They do a lot of really cool things, like they have afternoon tea, uh, champagne cinemas, they show classic movies, they have an album for all ages. They actually have on their movie website, like, substantial articles about movies. They have, like, a film club. One of the greatest things about them, by the way, aside from the food and drinks, which actually you get good food and drinks for what you pay, is, well, guess what? No cell phones. <laughs> you cannot have your cell phone on in an Alamo Draft House. They will actually throw you out. They have actually taken phone calls, like messages that they've got, from customers who were super unhappy that they were texting or talking on the phone and the patrons came in and kicked them out of the theater. Like, they've actually, and people have left these nasty messages on their phone and they take these messages and they make them part of their commercials because that's what they believe in. Now, one of the things that people loved, a lot of people discovered um, Alamo Draft House actually through MoviePass because MoviePass you could use at the Alamo Draft House, and a lot of people fell in love with this cinema. Well, um, MoviePass went under, so did Cinemia for that matter, and now people subscribe to AMC and Regal Unlimited, and it's for some people, Cinemark, but a lot of people miss going to the Alamo Draft House and actually continue to buy tickets, individual tickets, for the Alamo Draft House. And well, Alamo Draft House has a movie pass style subscription service. Hey everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and have to really like this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification. So what is it? Well, first you go to more and you have, they call it a season pass. So you click on season pass and you'll be brought to your pass to unlimited movies looks like a nice card. Now, interestingly, out of all of the passes that I have, I probably won't be getting this one. There's only one Alamo Draft House that's even remotely near me, and it's like an hour away. So, I mean, as much as I like the Alamo Draft House, I wouldn't be getting any use out of it. But in case you want to get a season pass, you have some options. And this is what they're marketing it as. Unlimited movies, watch as many movies as you want, up to one per day. Sounds a lot like Movie Pass. Um, buy in advance, get tickets up to seven days in advance. Companion tickets, purchase additional companion tickets during checkout. So here are the plans that they have. And they have them in three tiers. Big boat, bigger boat, and biggest boat, most likely a reference to Jaws. That's how awesome this theater is. So the big boat plan costs fifteen dollars per month now what do you get from that you get one regularly priced movie per day where with a standard online convenience fee that will apply you can reserve seats up to seven days in advance uh for use at these locations new Braunfels. i don't know what that means and you get a five dollar ticket discount on all other season ticket season pass locations so, okay. Now you go to the bigger boat, and this is the most popular one. You get one regularly priced movie ticket per day. You still pay the standard online convenience fees. You can reserve seats up to seven days in advance. And you can use it at these locations. And then you get a $10 ticket discount at all the other season pass locations. So, and then if you go to the $30, the biggest boat, well, you get one movie ticket a day per day. 
the standard online convenience fees will apply. You can reserve the seats up to seven days in advance, and you can use it at all locations, including Los Angeles, New York City, and San Francisco. So by the way, if I were to get this plan, I would have to get the biggest boat because that's the only one that it works with. Um, tax is not included. And how do I use my season pass? Alamo Season Pass is available only on the Alamo app for iOS and Android, as if there's any other, you know, platforms to get it on. To use your Alamo Season Pass, select a showtime and see as you normally would. You'll be prompted during the checkout process to apply your Alamo Season Pass. Your seat will be reserved at the time of checkout, but the actual ticket will not be available until you're at the theater 30 minutes prior to showtime. So you actually have to be there on time. I actually have to be there early. The ticket is tied to your phone, so be sure to bring that with you. I find this a little interesting. Not not a complaint, mind you, but considering how Alamo Draft House really encourages people to not bring their phones into the theaters, now they're actually, you have to have your phone to use this. So I, I think that's interesting anyway. Uh, once the ticket is available, head to your seat and show your phone to the server. Be sure to have your ID ready because your server will check it against the name of the subscription. So what shows are eligible for Alamo Season Pass? Your Alamo Season Pass can be used up to once per day and see any regularly priced movies. You can reserve seats to a 3D, I, I didn't know they did 3D, 70mm, Dolby Atmos, or Big Show movie for a non-refundable fee of $199. That's actually not a bad de deal. Alamo Season Pass cannot be used for special events like movie parties or feasts or other shows with premium tickets. And for those of you who don't know like what a movie party is, like for example, a movie party would be the premiere of Frank and Weenie, where they encourage people who went to that screening to bring their dogs along with them. To, you know, watch. Anyway, that's what a movie party is. How often can I use the Alamo Season Pass? You can use the Season Pass to watch one movie per day. By the way... Regal Unlimited so far is the only subscription service I can think of where you can watch multiple movies per day as many times as you want. They will probably change that at some point. Can I reserve my seats in advance? Yes, with Alamo Season Pass, you can reserve your seats up to seven days in advance. What if I want to bring a friend? You can easily purchase additional tickets at the normal price while you're making a reservation. Or if you typically see movies with a partner or family member, you can also add up to four extra seats to your monthly Alamo Season Pass subscription. This isn't an additional season pass membership. Extra seats work like a plus one, and they're not tied to a particular person's name. That means you can bring along anyone you like, but it also means that you as a subscriber will always need to be present because the tickets are tied to your mobile device and membership. So, yeah, okay. Can I avoid the convenience fee by getting my season pass tickets at the box office? And this is where the catch is going to be. No. Alamo season pass doesn't use paper tickets. It operates entirely through the Alamo Drafthouse app. Standard online convenience fees apply to tickets you reserve with your Alamo Season Pass. Now that's going to be probably the biggest caveat a lot of people have with this um, service. Because here's the thing, the Alamo Drafthouse is not a chain per se. I mean, it's a franchise, I guess. But they can't afford to just be spending... Because like, every time you use your pass... You, they have to spend money out of their pocket to pay the movie theaters. And if you use this more than a couple times, you're going to cost them money. So to discourage people from going like to a movie every single day and potentially not buying popcorn, they're going to charge a convenience fee. Now, I would suggest to them, just a suggestion, of course, that maybe the convenience fee can be waived if concessions are bought in advance. If they commit to buying some concessions, maybe the convenience fee should be waived in that opinion, and then everyone's winning. Now then, how do season pass discounts work at theaters outside of my plan? If you're on the big boat plan, your season pass will get you a $5 discount on tickets you reserve at theaters in the bigger boat and biggest boat plans. If you're on the bigger boat plan, you get a $10 discount on tickets you reserve at any theater in the biggest boat plan. Season pass discounts apply to regular 2D, 3D, Dolby Atmos, or big show screenings. The same rules apply for seeing one movie per day and reserving tickets up to seven days in advance still apply. Will I earn victory rewards when I use my Alamo Season Pass? That's basically their point system. Yes, you will still earn victory credit for Alamo Season Pass visits. Now, what should you do if you can't make the movie? Getting to see a movie every day for one monthly price is pretty cool, right? Here's what's not cool. 
holding on to seats that someone else could have used, so we have a strict policy against no shows. If you reserve your seat in advance and later realize you can't attend the movie, you must cancel your ticket at least one hour before showtime via the Alamo app. To cancel your ticket, click the button at the bottom of the seat reservation page in the app. If you miss the movie without canceling your ticket, we may restrict your ability to, res to reserve seats in advance. Nobody wants that. Note, if you had purchased additional tickets during the checkout process, those will be refunded when you return your season pass ticket. So, okay. It's actually funny to, to read that because people griped about that with movie pass. Like, hey, if I don't show up, like, my thing's going to be, be restricted. And yet, they're enforcing it. I'm moving. Can I switch plans? Sure. If you'd like to change your plan, contact season pass at alamodraft.com and we'll help you out. Now, I'm going to, like, criticize them a little bit for this one. They could make this easier. They could probably put a way to change the plans inside the app itself. Nobody likes to go through this, you know, email hoop thing, but whatever. This is what they want to do. If you switch to a higher price plan, the change will take effect immediately and you'll be billed for the difference right away. If you switch to a lower price plan, the change will take effect on your next renewal date and you will be billed as the new plan's rate uh, for the following month. If you have extra seats tied to your plan, you will carry those with you to your new plan. What else should I know? Don't share your Alamo season pass or ticket with someone else. Our servers will check your ID against the name on the subscription, and if they don't match, we may have to cancel your subscription. Don't make us do that, because they will. They throw people out for using their cell phones. Alamo Season Pass can only be installed on one device at a time. If you uninstall your Amazon Season Pass, you won't be able to reinstall on your original dice for at least 60 days. Interesting. If you choose to cancel your Alamo Season Pass subscription, you'll have to wait a year before you can subscribe again. Wow, this really does feel like Movie Pass. They're punishing you for canceling. And here's why they do this, by the way. This is why Movie Pass did it. Because they didn't want people subscribing to the months where they knew they were going to see movies. And then there was a month coming by. They don't want to see a movie. So, hey, we're going to cancel for that month or two. No, no, you still got to. You still got to pay your ticket. If you cancel, you can't sign up for another year. And so you pay for months that you weren't going to use. That's one of the ways that they're doing this. So then, um, I, I will say this is interesting. Uh, they It definitely feels a lot like MoviePass in the sense that there's more restrictions than with Regal Unlimited. Uh, there's not quite as many as with AMC. However, the fact that they're charging the convenience fees, and it looks like you're going to have to pay them every single time, um, this it's probably fair to say that it starts at one of these price plans and then it just goes up. So um, if I did this, I would have to do it the biggest boat because I'm near Los Angeles. Uh, and I think that the big boat is obviously not. Basically, there's only one location that that must be like a small town or something to that effect. Uh, the bigger boat that seems to be the one that they want to be heading pushing you towards. I, I think Alamo Draft House can meet people in the middle with that convenience fee. I think if they like promise to buy some snacks or something, I think they should waive that fee per personally. But anyway, it's here. The Alamo Season Pass Unlimited Movies. Uh, it, it's very much the spiritual successor to Movie Pass, except it only works at Alamo Draft House. And now the question is, are any of you going to sign up for this Season Pass? I would love to know that. So, you know the drill. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe, and as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.